You guys already know this. They don't want, they don't care about the journey. They're going to stay at the finish line and pick the winner. <laughs> They have to do what's best for their offspring. They don't have time to be building the man. They need you to be ready to take care of them and their family. I get it. But when you get to the finish line, you get to pick the girl you want. That's when you win. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today, we're here to discuss never show women too much of this or else she will leave. If you show women too much of these things, she is going to be telling you bye bye birdie. She's going to be looking for the mystery and excitement somewhere else. Number one, let's get right into it. Never show women too much attention. Guys, please, when are y'all going to listen? When you shower her with too much attention, when you're trying to see her every single day, too often she gets bored but she's going to tell you that's what she wants. She will hit you up. Hey baby, can I see you an extra day this week? Can we see each other Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? She thinks what she wants is to see you every day. But women don't understand themselves. They get bored very easily. So it's so hard for a man to maintain that same level of excitement every single day. So to help yourself out, to help you keep that excitement level so high, limit the amount of times you see her. I don't care who you is, I don't care how fun you are, you can't be the fun guy, most exciting guy every single day. But when you spend too much time, when you show women too much attention, they, they have seen it all. She has now gotten all of you. Now, and what else is there to chase? It's when you give her pickings when you give her you know you give her some attention here and there you know you see her once or twice a week but you keep her chasing the longer you keep her chasing the less bored she's going to get because she hasn't captured all your attention the worst way to lose a girl guys is to be too available you giving her you she's like i thought i wanted this but now i'm bored i thought i loved him but now I don't know what's going on. I don't love him as much anymore. All because you were giving her too much attention. If you want women to stay in your life, don't show them too much attention. Let her be questioning and wondering where you are. Let her be wondering and questioning where she stands with you. When you give her too much attention, you're telling her that no other woman is occupying her spot. No other woman is coming to fight for her spot. You need these women in scarcity. That's what they respond best to. Guys, I don't want you guys to be angry at women. I don't want you guys to be upset at women. I don't want you guys to hate women, not at all. I just want you to understand them better. They think when they spend every waking hour with you is what they want, but they don't understand that they get bored easily. So what they'll do is when they do get bored, they'll be like, oh, can we see other people? Can we do this? They don't even know why they, they don't even know why they lose interest in you. I know why. Because you're too available. You've shown her way too much attention. You've given her too much of your time. You've eliminated the competition anxiety. She now knows she has all of you. But when you see her once or twice a week, when you're not giving her so much attention, she has to worry about somebody else taking her spot. When she has to worry about somebody else taking her spot, she's naturally gonna be not bored. When she has to constantly fight for your attention, constantly fight for your time, she now is going to be more into the relationship. She's now going to be more into making things work with you because she's afraid of losing the little time she has. Well, hey, 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 if you see me once a week, baby, what I'm gonna drop it to? If you only get to see me once a week or every other week, you can't mess up, can you? You gonna go to zero times, never? That's why you can't show her too much attention, guys, because if you do, she will get bored and she will be looking for that mystery somewhere else. Number two, never show women too much of your problems. Guys, 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 guys. Do not share your vulnerabilities or your issues with women. Do not share your vulnerabilities or your issues with women. Guys, they say they're opening, they're open to hearing them. They say that, hey baby, share with me your problems. I want you to trust me. I want you to confide in me. But those are the same women 
that will use your problems when they when the arguments come up those secrets you shared with her i guarantee you she's going to be bringing them up when she's trying to attack you or you know you guys are arguing that's what she that's the ammunition you giving her women don't care about your problems they don't care about your problems they want you to be a man that figures it out they want to show up pretty go on nice dates go to places go all over the world that's all they want keep it to that i'm sorry i know you want your love to, to love you and care for you at every moment and for her to be your uh, open ears. But guys, that's not how women are hardwired. They like stoic men. They like men that figure it out. If you start telling her too many of your problems, she starts to lose interest in you because she has problems of herself. You guys gotta remember, all of us have things we deal with. So she doesn't wanna accumulate your problems. One of the girls I'm seeing, actually the main girl I'm seeing, right? <laughs> It was telling me how she had a friend of hers who would just cry and complain and cry and complain. A guy who would cry and complain and cry and complain. And like, she had to stop being friends with him. Guys, this is for everybody. Nobody wants to deal with your problems. FedEx Fearless goes through stuff all the time. You will never see me on the internet complaining about my life. Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody really cares. You guys say y'all love me, I get it. Y'all love what I the information I give y'all. It is not you guys' responsibility to deal with my problems. It is not my responsibility to deal with your problems. I'm gonna try to help you solve your problems, but I understand that human beings are naturally selfish. We have to look out, look out for ourselves. So when you're sharing all your problems with a girl, you're now pushing her away. I would much rather you act like you have nothing wrong in your life. You figure it out. You go solve your problems. Don't share it with women, because they can't do nothing about it. She can't solve your problems. If you broke, she ain't gonna give you no money. You know what I'm saying? If your if your landlord kicking you out, you know what I'm saying? She all you going all you do when you show your problems to women is you make them less and less attracted to you. You push them further and further away. If you show women too many of your problems, if you complain too much, I I I do no complaining around girls. Nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong. My life is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I go through stuff, I'm gonna figure it out on my own. It's not her responsibility. Because if I share with her, now she starts to look at me as a weaker man, even though she might not see it. When you, when you always complain to women, they look at you as weak. They want a man that figures it, fig, figures it out. They want a man that conquers the world, not a man who lets the world beat him. So your problems, keep them to yourself. I don't even want you sharing your problems with all your friends. Learn how to figure out your life on your own. People don't really care. People got their own problems. You got your own problems. I got my own problems. Deal with your own problems. Because all you're gonna do is push people away, especially women, when you're telling them what's wrong so many times. Number three, guys. Never show women too much of your past. Keep it a mystery. Women are extremely fickle. Women will judge you based on anything. Though, though you run the risk of changing the girl's perspective about you if you share with her too much of who you were before or how you came up let her live in the present that they're just so fickle i don't make them i'm just telling you who they are they're so fickle they change their mind so quickly she might see something from your past an ex-girlfriend of yours who was you know ugly that didn't look better than her now she's questioning your value now she's questioning why you, why she's even with you. If this is what you used to date, keep that past to the past. Whatever you used to do in the past, whatever you look like, your journey, women I mean, don't really care. You guys already know this. They don't want, they don't care about the journey. They're gonna stay at the finish line and pick the winner. <laughs> so hey, I understand that. I understand it. They have to do what's best for their offspring. They don't have time to be building the man. They need you to be ready to take care of them and their family. I get it. But when you get to the finish line, you get to pick the girl you want. That's when you win. I know you guys are heartbroken that women don't really care about your struggles, but hey, when you become that man you want to be, you get to pick. So hey, we all get time to shine, right? She gonna get time to shine by when she's young and beautiful, she gets to pick the best man for her. You get to pick the best girl for you when you become successful.
The win-win situation right there. So keep your past to the past. Your journey doesn't matter. Hey, this is who I am now. Love me, appreciate me for who I am now. You can, of course, you can, you can share some things about who you were, but I don't want you trying to go relive your past with this girl. No. So you can feel more connected to her. No. Oh yeah, I used to do this and this in the past, but you know, I worked hard and I got here. I don't need you, you know. Let her, let her live in the present. I don't want her changing her mind about you. I don't want her changing her mind about you. So you run the risk of women changing their mind about you when you show them too much of who you were. A little bit here and there is great. You know, some reminiscing, but don't try to relive your past with women. Number four, guys, never show women too much of your future. Yes, guys, they, uh, Lil Wayne had a, had a lyric that I live by. He says, real G's move in silence like lasagna. I think it's the song uh, Six Foot, Seven Foot, but that line really resonates with me. Real G's move in silence like lasagna. The G in lasagna is silent. Guys, what you have planned, nobody should know about. Your goals, you know what I'm saying? Maybe with your close, close friends, but keep, keep a lot of what you want to accomplish in the future to yourself. I don't want this girl to be playing the part because she knows you have a lot of big things planned. That's what I'm trying to get at, right? When, you, when you're telling her you're doing this or you got, you got this plan, you got this plan, you got this, it's great to share with her what you're working on, but don't share with her everything. I don't want this girl pretending to love you because she knows you about to get a promotion in six months. You guys see what I'm saying? I want her to I want her to show you who she really is right now. I don't want her to know that you're gonna get a Lamborghini in a year to give her more incentive to act right. Let's see if she acts right when you're grinding. Let's see, let's see if she jumps ship when you know to find a better option when she when all she had to do was wait a few more months. See, I love that because it motivates me. I remember the girls who flicked on me, ghosted me, thought I wasn't good enough. I, I know they sick now. I know they sick. Sick. Damn. If I had waited just a little bit longer, this dude would have been... Look, look, look what this dude has become. That's why you don't got to share nothing with them. Don't tell them too much of what you got going on or the things that you're going to be blessed with. Just work in silence. See who she really is. Take her for who she is now. Because if you share too much with her and she has that extra incentive to act right, when you do get there, she's gonna be looking for the next best option anyways. All it takes is a guy with a bigger car or a nicer house to come pick her up. So study the girl and see who she really is right now. Don't share too much of what you got going on. Some things here and there, yes, but I don't want her to know that you building a house is gonna make you a multi-millionaire. Or you, I don't want her to know too much. I don't want her to have no incentive to pretend like she, 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 really, she really loves you all to get the benefits of you or what you're gonna get in the future. I want this girl to really like you for you and then she gets to enjoy those benefits you earn because she was solid from day one. You guys get what I'm saying? Number five, guys, never show women that they can move you off center. This is a very important one, guys. Very, very important. Never show women that they can move you off center. Guys, women, women are gonna test you. They're gonna test your strength. They're gonna be dramatic. They're gonna be emotional. What most guys do is they fall into that trap. They start arguing with the girl. They start bickering with the girl. Now she knows she can move you off center. Now she knows you're not that masculine, stoic man that she thought you were. Now, what do you think is gonna happen? What do you think is gonna happen? She's gonna keep doing it. Oh, she saw that, that ticked you off? She saw that, get, she saw that got you emotional? She's gonna keep doing it. She's gonna keep trying, keep trying to egg you on, Whenever she wants something, she knows she can get you emotional to get a reaction out of you. A woman can only fall in love with a man that she respects. She can only respect you if she knows she can't get you off center. How are you gonna argue with me? I'm gonna show you the door. You wanna argue with FedEx Phyllis? You think you're you you gonna make, get me emotional? Nah. Okay, you feel some type of way, great. Here's the door, you can leave. Whenever you're ready to talk, civilize, hit me up. That's how I am with girls, guys. I don't argue, I don't fuss, I don't bicker. Anything I don't like, go home. That's my mentality. <laughs> go home. All right, your time, your time of day is done. If I'm with a girl I'm seeing, 
and she starts getting overly dramatic or starts becoming too disturbing, all right, it's time for you to go home. Whoa, 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 you never want to talk. You never want to, that's how they be. You never want to, you, you, uh, just, just go home. How can she argue with me? What incentive does she have to continue to be difficult? None, because this dude would just send me home. <laughs> He's not going to deal with it. It's the guy that, that engages and fusses and argues with her that she's going to keep trying. But you, me, go home. There's no fun there. This, this dude ain't going to argue at all. He's going to he just gonna send me home. He's not going to hit me up for a month, two weeks. I got to come back chasing him. There's no fun in that. There's no fun in that. I can't get him off center. Why would I try? He's going to kick me out. He's going to tell me to go home. And I gotta come back and do all the pursuing. I don't wanna do that. You see, you see, you see what I'm saying, guys? The guys who fuss, argue, fight with women are the guys that will keep fussing, fighting, arguing with women. The alpha men who say, you know what? It's time for you to go home. Uh, I'm not arguing, I'm not fussing. Here's the door. It's no fun in that. She can't get you off center. So now she knows this is a man that she can love because she can trust you to get her back right. It's no fun in screaming and arguing with a man who doesn't scream and fuss back. He just mutes you and tells you to go home. Now you love him and respect him. If you show women that they can move you off center, they will leave. Or they will just, you know, <laughs> drive you insane by always testing you, arguing with you, because they know they can get a reaction from you. If she can't get a reaction from you, she will never try you. And that's it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I love you, boys.